from the General Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. In this case, from Steinkopf and Surrounds. Uh, lots of interesting mineralization happening out there. Um, it's it's pretty close to Springbok and close to the the old mines, Okeep, Nabapi, Concordia, etc. A lot of copper mining took place in those areas. Now, these quartzes have a, immense, amazing clarity, and it's almost a greenish, yellowish color going into a grayish. Also, what's quite interesting is the the extra, uh, in many cases, little diamond faces on some of the edges, as you can see up there. Um, the the specimen itself is a flat plate, so going around like that, you can see the projection. So from a display point of view, I would display it an angle, uh, perhaps like this. And of course, very very high luster quartz, not at all photogenic. There is a little bit of contact on that crystal, or is that contact? Yes, there is a bit of contact on that crystal face, unfortunately. But furthermore. Pretty perfect and as you can see water clear and if you hold your hand behind it you can actually see almost a, a slight grayish uh, a shot inside some of these crystal forms all the way from oh, there's also a little bit of contact there all the way from the deposits of Springbok and uh, uh, and surrounds in this case uh, a Steinkopf uh, a Stonehead as uh, loosely translated from the German